Welcome back to the Creo Car tutorial. And this part, I will start to. I just need to fix a few things for the front uh, wheel panel. Switch to front view. This line needs to go that way and it needs to um, to be more on the left side here so it ends up onto that line so just move that line over slightly and also on your top view it's a good idea to this two line here it's very similar it's, it's going to be blended together later on so Make them similar and accept that. And right now we gotta go to and use the intersect tool right here. You click on this one, select this surface and click the second surface where it intersects and accept. And we'll go to the front view. What we we'll, what we need to do is try to ma match the intersecting line with the line of the star of the car so at the top surface here we need it to bring it to the right more we need to bring it to around here so it needs to follow this line in the line on here as well and bring the two points together and make sure they intersect and accept so what, what we did there was create an intersecting line and adjust the other curves to make it match the style of the car we can also tweak this line as well we might need to bring put an angle here so there's a slight curve there so there you go, you can tweak the, the, the surface as you go when you model your car but that's that's good, so we put that there and we can start trimming the front surface as well so just bring the front view up and draw a trim trim cut for the front panel make sure it's it's on the we need to activate the front view so we can draw directly on there So I'll just take my time drawing this and pause the video. So that's my sur my curve there, except so that was a degree five curve because there's some sharp corners there. We'll drop this curve onto this surface. Make sure the front view is projected and trim that out. Trim. Select the surface. Select the curve. Yep. So there you go, so the car starts to coming together now and we're going to use that same technique again right here select that surface and check the intersection and adjust the surface so the intersection is right how you want it ok that doesn't seem to be right Okay, what happened to that line? Click intersection, click the first surface and the second surface. Accept. And we're going to adjust this curve slightly, put on the four views. Uh, 
how do we need to bring that curve back so just adjust the point slightly see how it looks so I pull that point in and it starts to become like that and that's just how how I want the line to be so that was good and the top part might need to be we'll add another point here actually we'll leave it like that okay so analyze this curve carefully I want to bring this line in a bit more so I want this intersection to go in more so I can create a blend between that two surface and to do that I will okay edit curve and bring this curve in Okay, there it looks more like it. Okay. Yep, that's fine. So now I'll um, I'll create a blending technique between the two these two surfaces. I'll go to curve and I'll click on this type of curve. It's uh, creating a curve on a surface. So we can draw curves on a surface. So create a line just about there and there. Bring this across a bit more. And also create another line here on the surface. Draw this line here. Add a, add a curvature yep it looks fine and also this time draw a curve not on a surface but hold shift and click on there and there and also create a line on the other side so what we're doing here is creating a blend between the side panel and the wheel arches. So we just draw that curve there. We gotta go to click on the point and adjust the tangency to surface curvature. And same here, surface curvature. That means the surf the line is um it's it's blending with the surface so when we make our surface it will blend in and it'll create a nice surface so if you were to make that surface individually it's really hard to make it we gotta use the blending technique to create, create this um, blend between two surfaces so there's an arrow there, switch it to curvature and accept. There's an analysis tool over here. You select that and select your surfaces. You can crank up the spacing, crank up the width as well, or maybe lo lower the width. Put that free, free. Ready. Add some more lights. So you can see that the the lines, the lights blend between each other. That means that's really good news because that's what we want. That's that's a good blend between surfaces. All right, we're good with that. We we'll accept that.
Okay, what should I do next? So, just give me a second, I'll pause the video there. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the back side. I'll start to draw this curve on the back of the car here. Um, one tip is, is it's a good idea to draw curves separately. So this curve will be one curve, that curve will be another curve, and the the round that will have to be done afterwards when we we can cut the edges out and blend it or apply a fillet. But I'll just hide this surface and go to right view and activate the right view so we can draw on that one. Okay, bring the right view forward or just press this button. Okay, so we draw a line. Let's accept and go edit. Put the other po the other control point on. Switch to the four views and have a look at the photo reference this this line needs to extend in further from from the side panel so that should go there something like that And we need to figure out where this line intersects. Okay, I think we have a problem here. Okay, we have a problem. I need to bring this line and make it touching that point. I'll just put this right here. Yeah, sometime on your blueprints, the two views are conflicting, the, the right view, the back view. Sometime it's just completely off, so... You gotta make a judgement, use your own... Um, use your own uh, technique to fix that problem. Use your own judgement to... But basically that point needs to collect, connect on the end. And when you move this point, a lot of other surfaces are changing. So you, you need to check the surface. This important line has changed, so we gotta fix that line. But that looks fine there. Top view looks fine. Maybe bring this in more. Okay, let's fix the important line. This line here. Quickly, let's hide the surface. Let's bring this line back here. It should be around there. Yep, all right. And this surface, just fix that one. This it should be more horizontal, and that's an easy fix. Yep, all right, except regenerate. Click uh, regenerate sometimes to just update the views. Yep, so we draw that curve. It took some time to draw that curve. I'm 
I'm gonna bring in the back view to check the lines. Back view, unhide, and hide the front view. Switch it to the back view. Okay, so we gotta hide these surfaces. Let's accept. And let's hide all these. Or oh, just turn on wireframe view, switch to the back, and fix that curve. Okay, so I have to stop the video for this part and we'll continue on another part. It's been 15 minutes, so I just want to keep the videos between 10 and 15 minutes. But what we did in this part was create an intersection between the front panel, create a blend between that that two surface there and create a line on a curve on the back area of the car. So Alright, uh, I'll try to keep the video short and make it quick, but uh, but um, yep, I'll try my best to keep it fun and easy for everybody. So just stay tuned, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any question, leave a question or so. Uh, just yeah, leave me a question so I know what area you want me to work on and what I need to do. So any question at all. Just leave it in the comments, that would be great. See you in the next video, just for the links or just browse through my channel.